The first part of the user guide focused on the individual filter, its functions and how to use it. The second part focused on the central mix bus section and how this affects both filters and how it allows you to use them together. This third and final part will show you how this comes together. Firstly I'll show how to use the two filters together to create a 24 dB low pass filter and then a 12 dB band pass filter followed by some other examples of how the two filters can be used together using the mix bus. And finally there'll just be some patch examples of this in use to show what is possible. Whilst the filters on the Gemini are actually 12 dB, you can make them mimic a 24 dB filter such as a transistor ladder filter. At the moment you're listening to just the output of ECF1 I've got it in dual mode, I've got the mix all the way over to just VCF1. I've got exactly the same settings or as near as I can get on VCF2. So if I pan over to VCF2, you can hear it sound pretty much the same. Now, if I had used cascade mode, then I'm sending the output from VCF1 into the input of VCF2. And then it's summing the output of these together at the dual output. And you hear that's darker and quieter at first. I've raised the volume to make it similar to the other one. Initially it sounds a bit duller and quieter because it's reducing the frequencies at a rate of 24 dB per octave as opposed to 12 dB. So this would be the expected difference in behaviour between the two filter types. But it's a lot more pronounced and noticeable if you compare the two. So if I switch this back to VCF1, you'll just hear the VCF1 on its own. Just with that volume increase. So if you listen to the shape the envelopes make it and the sound, it's not as, it's not as pronounced. much more so when the two filters are cascaded and creating that 24 dB filter. And because I'm connecting to the dual FCV input, now I'm basically using the envelope to control the frequency of both filters simultaneously, in which case this becomes its attenuator, so I can limit the amount of envelope influence by lowering this. Again, I'll compare the two sounds. I'll compare that to the sound of the ladder filter. The two individual filters on the Gemini 6dB, but we can do a similar trick as before to create a 12dB bandpass filter by using the cascade mode. 
So the first filter is in low pass mode, second filter is in high pass. And same settings as before and they're both sharing the input, so input one is being passed through to both filters. So if I start to reduce the frequency of the low pass filter on VCF1 and get that to somewhere that sounds pleasing like there. And when I start to change the frequency of the high pass, it will scoop off that bottom end. Thus creating a band pass effect. Because then you're only letting a region of the frequencies through. You're cutting off the high frequencies, but also with the high pass, cutting off the lower as well. But unlike a normal band pass filter, you're able to dictate what that region of frequencies is. You can sculpt it exactly how you want it. And as before, you've still got the dual frequency CV controlling the frequency of both filters simultaneously. So in this case, I'm just reducing the amount of influence from the envelope. You can experiment with different combinations of frequencies by reducing the range of frequencies that are being allowed through the filter. Here I'm taking a copy of the filter envelope, sending it to the CV mix and then inverting it and then sending it to the mix CV on the Gemini so that as I hold the key down the sound will pan between the bandpass that's created by the two filters in cascade mode and the original low pass mode. Wow. Wow. 